Yo, what's going on YouTube? This has a gold here. We have a very important question to ask all of you today is that should there be a team that rules in F1? I mean, this that question occurred to me when I watched the um, 2013 Malaysian Grand Prix that today earlier, and um, it shows Sebastian Vettel ignoring team orders and deciding to go and take the win off Mark Webber, which, in my opinion, was the, the wrong thing to do. But if I was in his position, I would do it as well. Apologies to Mark Webber for that. But I mean, the things for team orders that the constructors get more money like in overall than the um, actual drivers that work for them essentially so basically Red Bull won the Grand Prix at the 1-2 and had 43 points Sebastian Vettel was, had 18 points and two Everton Mark Webber got 25 which means he was only trying to gain 8 points meanwhile Mark Webber was trying to gain four, was trying to gain a low Helps championship I mean the uh, Red Bulls were basically then for 43 points, uh, team rules and they told Sebastian Vettel to stay behind Mark Webber, whatever you do. Because basically they want to secure the win, they get Mark a rare win which he hasn't got for quite a while. But then Sebastian Vettel had to go and change it and actually take the win for himself, which I would have done it if I was in his position, but I mean, looking back at it as a spectator, I don't think it's the right thing he should have done. Because I can understand he wants to do it for himself, he's a driver, that's what they pay to do. For some good action as well. And I mean, but I mean, it's just team to team. You can't race unless you're part of a team. If you don't follow the team orders, then surely you are. Um, you shouldn't be in the team if you can't follow their rules. It's like going to a park and disobeying their rules, and just like you'd be kicked out, wouldn't you? So if you're disobeying their rules, then um, basically you should be kicked out of the team. But um, I mean, that basically, basically, like. You can always get another driver, but I mean, it takes a lot more money to have another team. So, I, I'm against Sebastian Vettel on this one. I've never been a great fan of his, to be true, doing this. But I mean, I can understand why I did it, because he's a racer, by good action, but I mean, it was heart and mouth time for people on the, um, on the pit wall, so. But I can truly understand why he did it and why he wanted to win. I mean, that's what every driver wants to do, even those at Mauritius and Caterham, they want to win. But unfortunately, it'll never happen for them at the moment, so. But I think team rules should. Um, I think there should be in F1 if uh, drivers are racing recklessly. Because I mean, if they're racing, like I would have used team rules against Mark Webber, Sebastian Vettel today in Malaysia. But I mean, if um, if they're driving fine, like the McLarens did in Turkey in 2010, I think it was 2011. That's fine. I mean, there's no team rules needed there. Ferrari, I think, have got it just right. I mean, they've done that in race if they're too close. So Mass is desperate to get past. But I mean, if um, if they're just if they're both in contention for the championship, you can't really get in the way of them. Especially if Weber and um, Vettel both in contention for the championship, which they should be this year. I mean, they should actually they should be allowed to race. But team rules, I think, should be in place only if they um only if their drivers are driving recklessly. But anyway, please make sure you leave a comment below and let me know what you think. These have been my thoughts on it. I mean, they should be in F1 in certain circumstances, but not all the time. They shouldn't dominate the um, back pages of the sport with team rules about Formula 1. But I mean, it's my thoughts of the um, thing that happened today about uh, team rules in Red Bull. And this also happened with um, Mercedes as well. But for 3 and 4, not 1 and 2 in that like, finishing position. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more. And let me know what you think, I'm really interested to know. And please make sure you like and you subscribe if you want to stay up to date with the latest F1 debates and things that are going on. So, yes, how's it going? And I'm out of here.